Hello, Randall Monk and Ron of Zane here with a gem of wisdom from Archangel Michael. Hello, everyone. How are you today? Let's have a little quality time together, okay? This gem of wisdom comes from Rana's book, The Magic and Majesty of Ascending Humanity. Ascension is a process of constantly transcending your current level of limitation, both emotionally and mentally. You must always integrate and experience any new knowledge you accept as your new philosophy of life, thereby gaining the wisdom of the more advanced concepts. I know all of you, everyone out there to some degree. I don't care how rich you are or that spectrum of, of wealth and, and, and situations and so on. Everybody is bearing great burdens now because everything that they've been in the past, everything that they've done, positive and negative, is all trying to find its place. Is it going to be predominant or is it going to be healed and be in the background? We are in a, the earth and the world is in a personal battlefield, a battlefield that contains all of humanity and what we've done, what we've done to the earth and to each other countries and so on. And you have a personal battlefield of your own. Are you the director and the master of your battlefield? Or have you given away your power? Is someone else the director? Just as in the past, it, the humanity was like children. When back in the ancient teachings and in the Bible, guard my flock, lead my, uh, and, and uh, uh, teach, you know, it, it, and we were in a herd state. And so, but now you have an opportunity and a command that it is time for you to become the master of your destiny. It is time for you to be the director, not of anybody else. First of all, see yourself in your own hologram. What's it like? Is it chaotic? Is it messy? Is it turbulent? Do you have all these people around you that are mirroring negativity? You, Michael says you can always tell how you're doing by the people you draw to you. Wherever, no matter how chaotic or how traumatized, don't stop blaming your parents for what's happened to you. It's time for everybody to take responsibility for their own actions. And so this is the golden opportunity, but you must start somewhere. First of all, you must turn inward in the books, like it's scripting your destiny. Create your future, create your vision. Do you have any idea what you want to be when you grow up? Do you have any idea what you want to be when you become a self-master? How about spending some time thinking about it? You have to envision your dream. You have to see it, feel it, claim it before you can make it happen. Even with the prayers, oh God, help us do this. God help begging. It's there. The universal laws are all there and they're written out specific, specifically. Here are the steps you take. You've got to start at level one. There, I will say this, there's a lot of seminar junkies, a lot of intellectual junkies out there. They read everything and, 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 and then they go into something else, they want something new, but that's just all it is, it's information. What is your heart's desire? What, what is your passion? What would you really like to be? Michael said the first thing is, is to get rid of the things you don't want to be while you're seeking that which you want to be. First of all, we want to be kind and loving. We want to be honorable. We want to be a good steward of that wonderful love light, the gifts that we've been given from our Father, Mother, God. There is a diamond core God cell there waiting to be filled with the new divine blueprint. Are you doing anything to accept that, to integrate it? Do you even think about it? Do you even think, what can I do to become a better person? Self-analysis is not fun, but you do need to face your sad of sight and you do need to acknowledge that this is me and I'm going to love it for you. I'm going to stop resisting. I'm going to stop listening to everybody out there. I'm going to focus on a particular thing. What, your health, your relationships, 
your habits, your addictions. Take them one by one and acknowledge them and be with them. Do you know that all of those addictions, all of those negative things, they are just begging to be loved free, not resisted. And not to say, oh, I am not worthly, you know. Start using some positive words. Start having, Michael said, you have to, there's a virtue in selfishness. You have to have a love affair with yourself first and begin to be your own best friend. It's not an easy thing to do. But there's always someone, there's always people out there that's had it worse than you, just like they've had it better than you. This is your hologram, it's your, this is your environment, it's your prison, or it's, it's, it's your vision. It's, it's your balloon, your, your, your hologram of light and beauty and magic that's going to take you and expand and take you to the most awesome lifetimes and beautiful uh, future. It can happen, and it has to happen one day at a time. Can you decide now to spend just a few minutes alone time with your own self? I said it took, it took me... 80 years to become the boss of me. <laughs> to be a long time. Because I was always acquiescing. I was always the, uh, trying to make everybody else happy. I didn't like confrontation, didn't like arguments and so on. And even it comes a time where, yes, I began to take control of it. I did change and people wondered why it changed and some of them didn't like it but I gradually became to balance where I know that I take the loving energy myself first. We can't give away what we don't have. And then I share it, but I also set boundaries. And we are moving past a lot of people now. And if you're doing it lovingly with non-judgment and blessing them and seeing the good in them, then it's all appropriate. But we all are going forward. We're on this planet Earth. And it is evolving quickly, and we're stewards of it. And don't you want to do your share? Don't you, wouldn't you love to be one of those that can help to transform the earth and be a transducer and a transformer for that wonderful energy that will help our beloved Gaia, our beloved Mother Earth do that? As well as send that out to other people. You don't have to be, you don't have to be like we are. You don't have to be some grand person that's going to save the world. Save yourself and then share that beauty of what you integrated, that beauty of the unique essence that is you with those around you. It will begin to spread in concentric circles. It'll begin to go out and it'll spread. It'll go down into the earth and begin to go in the labyrinths. And it will also spread out from you and your auric field will change and you'll be, get to radiate. Yeshua, Jesus, he didn't really touch physically a lot of people, but his org feel expanded for many miles beyond him. And each person that his auric feel touched was blessed. And the people around you, are you a blessing or are you a lesson? We have to be both, but do it with grace and with love and with honesty and integrity and with the thought that I am going to strive to be the very best person that I can be and help all those around me do the same thing. Find your truth and live it to the best of your ability and give other people the same right. And you won't be that astray. Let's march forward together. We're ready. Are you ready? Thank you, Rana. <clears throat> I want to read this first sentence again. And ascension is a process of constantly transcending your current level of limitation, both emotionally and mentally. And also we do that by um, experiencing, by getting the wisdom from our interactions with other people and our, the events in our life, the, our current situation, whether it's challenging or a blessing or because they're all a lesson for us. Whether it's a blessing or a lesson, it's all, they're all a lesson. 
um, they're either confirming something we're doing correctly or they're bringing to our attention something we may want to work on. And it's important to integrate, integrate the wisdom from those situations. That's all for this one. Much love and many blessings from our hearts to yours. Bye for now. Expand your vision. Think big. And we're right there with you. Love you. Have a wonderful, wonderful week, month, whatever. And we'll see you when we see you. Bye-bye. Bye for now.